Did God give you the gift of a servant? Well, if you're quick to meet environmental needs, you're low maintenance, and you're allergic to manipulating people to get what you want, then yeah, maybe you are a servant. Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome to the Worship Homestead. My name is Nathan Smith. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to be talking about the redemptive gifts. We're in week two of our seven-part series, and these redemptive gifts come out of Romans 12, where Paul talks about the different designs that God gives to different people. And that's Christians, non-Christians, it doesn't matter. Well, today we're talking about the gifting of the servant, and we'll get to that. But first, I want to give you something. If you want an easy-to-use PDF guide that has all seven of these gifts laid out in detail, well, go to my website, blueprintsounds.com, and specifically, you can click on a tab called the Free tab, and it has a thing called Grow Your Redemptive Gifts. It's an easy-to-follow PDF manual that has all of these gifts, easy to print out or download or give to your friends or people on your worship team or in your church that covers these seven redemptive gifts. Also in that free tab are a lot of other free PDF guides and online workshops. Everything from church songwriting, church sound, how to build a better band, as well as free samples of my online courses, deeper worship lyrics, you can watch the first module, and also sparkling electric guitar, you can watch one of the modules for free. Again, all of that is for free for the taking. Just go to blueprintsounds.com forward slash free. All right, let's talk about the servant gifting. God gives the servant unparalleled spiritual authority because he knows they don't want it. The instinct of the servant will always be to come alongside others and help them be their best in any given situation. What God wants for the servant is to create those conditions where others can be their best, but truly to create the conditions where God feels at home. Here are some defining traits for the servant. They see and fulfill environmental needs quickly. We have jokes in my family. I'm, I'm the servant in, in the family. And we have jokes in my family about how quickly I clean up and how it's just my head is always on a swivel looking for the next thing that I might clean up at any given moment. That's a hallmark of a servant. They tend to extend honor easily. And as a result, they have very few natural enemies. They're very loyal and servants do not do shame. They're not into shame at all. They can actually be very competitive, but only in safe spots like board games or sports where they know the stakes aren't that high. Servants are relatively free of the desire to build their own kingdom. It just doesn't occur to them as, a, as an instinct that they would do that. And lastly, they're low maintenance and they don't tend to hustle or manipulate people because, again, it's, it's not in them to do. The signs of a mature servant are this. They please God first not people. They can be trusted by God, and they walk in authority and dignity and not in shame for themselves. Here are some signs of a carnal servant. They tend to play the victim. It's very easy for them to get down and and put on that victim uh, mantle. They also enable others and make, make it easy for themselves to be taken advantage of. They have difficulty saying no, And they also have difficulties with boundaries, especially on their own time when somebody asks them to do something. It can be very difficult for the servant to delegate tasks, even when it's necessary and appropriate. Another gifting, no problem delegation. Servants, it's just, it makes them uncomfortable because they don't want to be putting upon someone else. They also have difficulty in accepting excellence in their own work. And finally, they tend to walk in a shame and a poverty mindset when they're a carnal servant. Here's the lie that Satan wants the servant to believe. I'm legitimate when I can build a platform for others to be successful. But here's the birthright for the servant. To create an atmosphere in places, people, and situations where God can come and commune with his people. That is really the heart cry. That's what the servant was designed for more than anything else. A great example of a servant in scripture is Joseph, the father of Jesus. God gave Joseph an incredible task, protecting a vulnerable child, the son of God, and he gave it to Joseph because he knew that he could be trusted. We don't hear a lot about Joseph in scripture, and that's kind of typical of a servant to be a bit hidden, but God gave great authority and great honor to Joseph 
because he knew he could trust his servant. As we wrap up this teaching about the servant gifting, I want to talk to servants as a servant. From one servant to the other, I just want to tell you this is going to be the hardest thing for you, servant, to do in your life, and that is to walk in legitimacy. And here's why. Because you're always going to be thinking about somebody else who is more legitimate or something else that will make you more legitimate, something down the road that, okay, then I will be able to have authority in this area. You're always looking for that. And that is a somewhat noble thing to not ever think that you've arrived. But you can't let that stop you. You can't let that make you say, okay, one day or when, you know, this happens, then I will be legitimate. Then I'll have authority. Then I'll be able to lead. You can't wait around for that because God has already given you immense authority because he knows that you'll use it wisely. So servant, I know as a servant It's hard to walk in legitimacy when you see all of the things that could be better, that tools that you need, or you you know, you have a long vision of, well, one day, then it will make sense. Um, here's the thing, it it's always gonna be out on the horizon. God wants you to lead now. He wants you to walk in authority now. So embrace it. Hey, I hope that video helps you, and I hope that you as a servant walk in legitimacy and honor because God gave you legitimacy and honor, not from anything that you've done or that you might do in the future, just because that's the way that he made you. All right, if you want more help with the redemptive gifts, make sure to get my free download called Growing Your Redemptive Gift. And you can find it if you click on the link nearby, blueprintsounds.com forward slash free. And there's a lot of other stuff there for you. No strings attached. If you're listening to the podcast, leave a good review. It helps me out. Likewise, if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Stay tuned because we have the teacher gifting coming up next week. God bless and goodbye.